Dr. Kedda K. Good afternoon. Hi. It's a pleasure to have you here on Nevis. Thank you. Um, I'm Evelyn Henbill, Director, Executive Director for Nevis Historical and Conservation Society, and we welcome you on Nevis. What I would like to ask you is to tell us a little of what's going on at the um, Coconut Walk and your purpose for being here on Nevis. Yes, gladly. Um, we're a group of about 28 people, 22 undergraduates, Americans, and um, I co-direct with Dr. Fitzpatrick from North Carolina State University, Michael Kappas, who is a computer data uh, analyst from the Netherlands, plus other colleagues and analysts. We came to Nevis because Nevis has a reputation which has not been explored for oh, nearly 20 years of wonderful Amerindian um, su survival of artifacts. And you good reputation. A very good <laughs> reputation indeed. And, and what was amazing spreads of material which people were walking over but not doing anything else very much with. So we took the opportunity, having excavated in the Caribbean, between us for probably over 30 years, between the three of us, um, to come to Nevis this year. And we haven't been disappointed. We've been working really, really hard up there on Cape Cod Walk. Students have been processing the uh, finds when the weather permitted, trying to dry off the material. What and then are we some of the finds that you found? Well, so some of the things we found are well, masses and masses of pottery, but masses and masses of of shellfish and fish and small mammal bones which show the subsistence material that the um, Amerindian people were surviving on. And because it's been so rich, we decided the best thing to do would be to open an exhibition to the public here with your cooperation at the museum so that people can come and see. So that's what we're doing Indeed. here today. Absolutely. And some of the things that we will see today are? We've got a nice selection of small shell beads, and our illustrator John Swagger has done some really nice paintings. I to, yes, yeah, to fell in love with the necklace. Yes, yeah, yes. quite so. Yes. And the shell. Yes. <laughs> so he's illustrated the kind of final effect, what it might be, and we put in the showcase the selection of beads that we found. We've got little adornos, which are little sculpted, modelled um, heads of animals or yes. humans. So on the side so of the pottery. Yes. Polishing stones, stone and shell tools. Then you'll also be doing a slideshow presentation. Right. Tell us about that. Yes, um, Dr. Fitzpatrick this time. I yes. did this the last time when we did one, so he's doing this one. Well, and it really will be just going over what what the whole process is involved with and what it's cost us to come here to, what our financial input into the island is yes. in terms of the money we spend. It has cost you yeah, quite a bit just for this project. Absolutely. So yeah. it must be worth your while to be here. Quite so, but we hope also that it's worth your while. It's also worth you know. the while for our country yeah. and our history yeah. Because uh, what you're finding is education for us, Quite so. and yeah. really, and uh, we're living of our history yeah. in these small yeah. pieces, but very important pieces. We really strongly believe that, you know, as the first occupants of these islands, the people who first came here and set up their homes here, all we find is is their remains. The people were more or less wiped out of the island in historic times, and uh, and it's important that they're not forgotten. That's what we feel. You know, we're walking on the same ground, we're looking across the horizons at what they saw. And so it's nice to think that they're being represented in the heritage of the island. Because Correct. you know, they, they, they played a very important part yes. in establishing people on this yes. on this island. And and does this not tie us in some way with the rest of the world? Of course, absolutely. Yes. You can't ignore history. Gets and and it's important that people understand, you know, we're part of a continuing process. We are where we are because people before. That's right. And Coming that's from elsewhere. Exactly. That's yeah. right. That's All immigrants. And it ties us in. Exactly. With with yeah. elsewhere, where they came from, oh. India, uh, yeah. Canada, uh, England, and yeah. it ties us in as one human race. Indeed. Yes. Absolutely. Very important. Very important. So the more people that can come and see our exhibition and the museum generally, the better I think. Well, I hope we get lots of our children today because that is the yeah. That's the group that we really want to yeah. uh, reach with this kind of um, education. Right. And we hope, when do you expect to come back? I think I hear you say two years? Not next year, but the year on two years. years. We hope. Yes. Okay, yes. well, we'll be better prepared with our children's involvement yeah. then. And, and the exhibition will stay here. Yes. And so, material is here, and it's not yes. just for a week, it's for the rest of the time, you know, so people can come in at any point. And that's nice. And we hope that schools will be encouraged to bring the yes. houses of children. Yes, and we will do that. As they walk around, be aware of what they're walking on. You know, it's 
not just dirt, it's yes. you know, stuff which it's has part of our ancestors' yeah. history, and Absolutely. which is part of our history. Right. Well, I thank you for coming, thank and you we will definitely so appreciate what you've done and are doing for us because it helps us to understand and to know more about where we came from. Yeah. And I thank You're you. You're very, very welcoming, and we thank you. Thank you.